Hello everyone. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create a power calculator, power and watts calculator, um, in Vet Lab View 2013. So go ahead and click Create Project, and once that loads, click Blank VI, click Finish, click Control T to tile them. Okay. Then you want to right-click, go to Numeric, and add two knobs. One and then add another one and you want to add a numeric and go to gauge okay next what you want to do is you want to resize them a little bit so um, let's make this one about that big I guess put this here we'll also expand these a little bit That should be good. Right click this, click visible, and click ramp. Right click this and do the same thing, click ramp, and click it. And do the same thing for this, visible items, ramp. There you go. Okay? Now you want to change the color of the background. You don't have to do all of this, but I'm going to. So let's do that. Change that to white. And then we'll change the text to white, and this to white, and this to white, and that. All right, there we go. Actually, one more thing. Uh, yeah, let's just make it black. All right, so. What you want to do now is you want to go ahead and right click this click properties and to set a range as you can see down there it says 0 to 10 that's the range you can easily change that by going to scale and change this um, let me think alright um, we're going to change this to negative 100 and we'll make this one 100 alright click ok to that Right click this, click properties, do the same thing, but make it negative 10 to negative 210. Alright. Do the same thing for this. Negative 10, 210. There we go. Now, what you want to do is you want to move the label, or uh, not label, but whatever. Um, right click this one. Actually, you can either right click, click properties, and go into appearance and change the label there. I'll show you this way for this one. So go to voltage, frequency, millivolts, or MV, like that. Or the other way you can do is click shift, right click, click the text tool, and then just select it. And then go to current milliamps. There we go. Switch it back to the mouse tool. All right, so that's pretty much it for that area. Now for the block diagram. For the block diagram, you're going to want to keep everything here. Just align it real quick. And then you want to right click, go to numeric, and then add a multiplication symbol. Then you want to click right shift, right click, click the wire tool, and then just attach these. Okay. And then, just want to switch this down a little bit. All right. And that's pretty much it. You want to click, right click the knob, click visible items, and click digital display. And that will be what exactly what's on the knob. Like what the knob is on. So go do the same thing for this visible items and go to digital display. Now I'll run it again and we'll type in a number this time. And we'll say, I don't know, let's say 10 and then we'll say 2 here. So if all goes well, that should be. Um, five. I mean twenty. Sorry, because and uh, a good way we can check that is re just right-click this and then view visible items and do the same thing that we did for the knobs, which is digital display. All right, and that's basically it. That is how you make a power, um, power or n watts calculator in LabVIEW 2013. Thank you. Bye.